Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop board game bag check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Today, the question we are answering is what's in the box? Because I am going to be taking a look at this awesome looking new version of Telestrations from the op. A new version called Telestrations Upside Drawn, which is a team-based Telestration game. So instead of everyone playing um, Eat Poop You Cat or Telephone the Game and passing the book back and forth, you actually play with a teammate at the same time. So before we get into what's in the box, just a little bit of self-promotion. You can find me all over the internet as Tabletop Bellhop, one word, social media, Twitter, Facebook, uh, Pinterest, YouTube, Twitch, wherever you go, you'll find me Tabletop Bellhop. Our main hub, though, is at our website, which is just tabletopbellhop.com. Nice and simple. If you go there, you can find all kinds of awesome stuff, including other unboxing videos, actual plays, reviews, and answers to your gaming and game night questions. Because we are striving to be a Dear Abby for gamers. And if you've got a question for us, anything gaming or game night related, you can send it to questions at tabletopbellhop.com. Or go to that website I already mentioned and click on Ask the Bellhop at the top of the page. Enough about me, though. Let's take a look at Telestrations Upside Drawn. I always want to say Upside Down. Obviously, it's Upside Drawn. So as you can tell, I have not opened this before. You, I have not seen what's in this box. You are getting to see this for the first time with me live here. So um, this does say it's ages 12 plus. For 4 to 12 players, plays in about 20 minutes, so nice and quick. It says the side-splitting team sketch and guess game. The answer is Tough Cookie. From the makers of Telestration comes an all-new team-based game of verbal and upside-down written miscommunication. One, roll the category die to choose a word or phase. Two, time to draw. The guide knows the info and controls the pad while the artist holds the pen, and they're trying to guess it, which is just fascinating. Three of the first team to get the guess right wins. Happy as a clam is the example. It's a race to guess first in this hilarious game of co-created art. Uh, the game is by Kane Clanko, multi-award winner. I personally know him from some other games. Um, big fan of Kane's work. So up next, we are going to take a look at what you get in the box. So, All right, so here we have shiny new copy of Telestrations, upside drawn. Obviously, first thing we're going to find is a nice set of instructions. Nice and thin. Wow, really thin. Like, this is it. That's it. Four pages. Four pages. Ridiculous number of ex words. Uh, sorry, of uh, pictures. Some drawing tips. It doesn't look like it could be any simpler. It's always good. Party games that are simple is what you want. Some nice iconography here. Explanations. Some hints and categories. Then we have a drawing board that i got to admit looks really neat. That is a very interesting looking drawing board because it's got this stuff on the edges, which are obviously those hints, hints and categories. So you get some hints on here if you're hot or cold. Um, I don't, I'm, I'm going to guess you kind of tap, whoops, tap these as you're playing or something like, hey, hey, sounds like this, or here's your category. And these are also two-sided. I don't know what matters, yellow or blue, but you have two-sided boards, same thing on both sides except the color. We got one, two, three, four of those. So it looks like you could actually probably play with um, four teams instead of just two. Yep, all the same. Then we've got no, no punching required. You got a decent box insert here. This works. There's nothing sliding around. Preach cut out um, point chips. These are actually really nice. Like surprisingly thick card here. I'm not going to take them all out, but here's a handful of them. You can see the thickness on that. That's a nice thick cardboard chip for points. You got fives, threes, and ones. Here, actually, what I'll do is I'll grab one of each. So you can see one of each. Five, threes, and ones. You have a die, which instead of numbers actually shows the different categories. It's a nice touch. Not necessary, really. You could just have numbers, I would think, based on these. And then you have a stack of clue cards. And you have both blue and yellow sides. So I don't know what the difference is between blue and yellow. Um, you know what? I'll crack this open quick just to check the thickness of the cards. But I'm not going to flip through too many of these because they're all going to be very similar, obviously. No, 
only thing I feel missing here is something to hold these, like a deck box or something to hold these while they're out on the table instead of having a pile. So if you put them in the box, take out one, and throw the one you've used on the bottom. So here's an example. I don't know what the... So there are numbers here on the side, besides just the categories. So you have Realtor, Jungle, Blanket, Whisper, and Wet Your Whistle, and then 211112 down the side. I don't know if that's a difficulty. On the other side, it's a yellow side, we have Santa, Cruise Ship, Vine, Flip, and... Many hands make light work. Wow, that sounds a little harder than the rest of those. I'd go with Santa out of these. But then you would obviously roll the die that has these different categories on it. So if this was my card, I'll roll the die. I got the world symbol. So I would be trying to get my partner to draw a cruise ship and guess cruise ship from what I understand of this game. So one of the things with Telestrations, the original game, there is the eight player, the original game, and then there's a party pack that plays up to 12. And I own the 8-player version, and a friend of mine owns the 12. And one of the things I like best about the 12-player, besides the fact the game plays more people, is the fact that it comes with tinier markers. And it looks like we are going to get those tinier markers here. Yeah, that's a nice, fine tip. So that's my biggest complaint about the original Telestrations, the big, wide tip um, dry erase markers. So I'm just going to draw something really quick here. It works great. It's a marker. And it's got an eraser on the other side, and it cleans up really nice. So there you have it. Everything that comes in, Telestrations Upside Drawn, the new side-splitting team sketching guess game. Uh, like I said, two players. So I forgot to put the markers back. Two players trying to draw at once. One person moving this board while the other player holds the pencil, darker, whatever, dry erase. And that person drawing is trying to guess what they're trying to draw. First team to get it right wins. That sounds fascinating to me. I am really looking forward to breaking this one out. This is going to be a big hit at our New Year's Gaming in the New Year's Party. Assuming we can have New Year's parties this year. Um, plus, um, oh, I don't know. Like, uh, my, my daughter's got a birthday coming up. If we can have friends over, I think they're going to have fun with this. I'm looking forward to playing this with my daughters and with my wife, with uh, the four of us. It's looking like a lot of fun. So there you have it. What you get in Telestrations Upside Drawn, hot new version of Telestrations from the Op, uh, otherwise previously known as USAopoly. Looks fantastic. King Clanko design. Uh, four boards, four dry erase markers, a die, a ton of cards, uh, over 100 cards, or 100 cards, and scoring chips and instructions. What'll be interesting to know is many people, and I'm not trying to bash on Telestrations, but many people throw out the scoring rules in Telestrations and just play it as an activity. It'll be interesting to know if this has a better scoring system that's more accepted by more people. So, again, I am Motuzino with the Tabletop Bellhop. You can find my content at tabletopbellhop.com. In the coming weeks, I'm going to get this game played, and I will be talking about it on my social media accounts, and eventually I'll be able to put up a full review. That review will be on the blog. It'll also be featured on the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast, which is a weekly podcast we put out every Tuesday, which you can find on your podcatcher. Just search Tabletop Bellhop. We should be the top hit. Uh, other than that, if you did dig this video, be sure to head over to patreon.com slash tabletop bellhop and consider tipping your bellhop. For Tabletop Bellhop, I am Mo Tuzano. Good night and game on.